Hey guys, this is a character tutorial or video for Shulk. In this video, I'm going to be going over all of his moves, the properties of each of the moves, whether or not some of them need to be sweet spotted, how they work, and all sorts of that neat stuff. Uh, so this video is going to be divided into three parts. First of all, I'm going, to, I'm going to be going over his A moves, then I'll be going over his B moves, and then finally, at the end, I'm going to go, go over my general overall impression of Shulk. How I think you should be using him and some of his strengths and weaknesses. And yeah, just to start off, I'll show you his taunts. Alright, so without further ado, let's go into his A moves. So his standard neutral A is a jab combo. Does a jab first, a kick, and then attacks with the sword. So pretty good knockback. Standard stuff, not much else to say. Um, he doesn't have like a match A combo like Falcons or Greninja or Falco and Fox. But yeah, his forward tilt is his sword, frontal sword slash attack. It's got very good reach, decent knockback, comes out really fast too, so it's really good. And it, you don't need to sweet spot this or anything either. It does the same damage no matter where you hit it from. Alright, so his down attack is this basic sword sweep. At low percentages you could combo uh you could combo from it like this. Like that. Yeah, not much else to say about it. His up tilt though is really good. It's got a lot of reach, a lot of range, and it comes out really fast too. And there's not that much recovery. And you can combo multiple up tilts in the same combo too at lower percentages. This is really good for people who are coming on the way down. And you don't want to use your up smash because you're afraid you might get punished because of the recovery. So you can just use this to annoy people who are on the way down. Even if they air dodge, you could still do it again and you'll probably catch them. Yeah. So it's good to use. It's got a hitbox almost all around except behind him. Alright, so that's it for his tilt moves. Next, I'm gonna go over his smash attacks. So, Shulk smash attack. His side smash is this. This is his two hit sword attack. And, you know, the first hit obviously comes from the Mono Monado itself, and the second hit comes from, you know, the blue beam that comes out of it. So, you don't need to really sweet spot this, it's just a two hit smash attack. Uh, the second hit is the one that's more important. Because that's where most of the damage and knockback comes from. And it has really good reach. You can hit him from like this far. And it's got great knockback in general. So it's a potential kill move. Um, another thing you need to know is that you can also angle it too. So that's how it looks like normally. If you, do, if you tilt it upward, it goes like that. And you tilt it downward, it goes like that. I don't know if you can notice a difference, but... Uh, it's just a neat thing to know. His down smash is his spinning sword attack. This move you might you mostly want to use it for getting opponents out of your face, you know, getting people away from you. The knockback is the strongest at the initial frames and it gets weaker as he spins more and more. It's not multiple hits like Peach's down smash. Is that it? so yeah. Uh, another thing you need to know is that it's got great ledge control. Oops, I accidentally killed Captain Falcon. But it's got great ledge control, so here's how you can use it. Ah, he dare yeah, dodge that one an asshole. So from people who are recovering from below the ledge, this move is very good to use. This down smash. Because it's very active. So you don't really need to time it, and uh, Captain Falcon is just not really recovering the way I want him to recover. He's too too high to. There we go. So something like that. I didn't really do a good job of showing that, but basically what I want to say is it's got great it's got great ledge control because of the hitbox and the fact that it stays out for so long that you don't really need to time it. Even if you do it and hit them kind of late, the knockback is still pretty decent enough that sends them sort of horizontally at almost a downward angle. But yeah. Alright, so his up smash 
is this two hit sword attack that has a hitbox all the way around him so even from behind and it's got a very great horizontal uh, vertical reach so not like that but uh, Captain Falcon keeps falling down the wrong way there we go actually maybe something to jump There we go. So yeah, it's got very good vertical reach. Again, it's two hits, like his side smash. As long as you get them with the first hit, you're most gain you're guaranteed to get the second hit off. But yeah, the most important part is just to hit them with a the beam. You don't really need to get them with the first hit. Because like I said, the beam is where most of the damage and knockback comes from. Alright, so that's it for his ground manners. Uh, he does have. Let me show you his running attack real quick. So as you can see, it's got a lot of reach. You can press it very far, from very far away. And I believe he's probably got the most reach of all characters running attacks. Yeah, just because you know the beam from his sword increases his hurt, uh, his hitbox. Uh, let's see his grabs. So this is his pummel. So taxi with his sword hilt. That's his back throw. Forward throw. We reset it so it'll be faster this way. Down throw. And up throw. Alright, so there's not much else to say about the throws. I mean I don't think you can really get any combos off of them. Except for this, the up throw. But then again they I think they can jump. Uh, they could sort of jump out after the throw. Maybe not, but yeah, it's not. It's hard for me to test combos in this game because it is Smash after all, and I can't set the dummy to uh, do the moves that I'm doing. So yeah, let's see his aerial normals. So his neutral air or nair, you know, in Smash lingo, is his very wide sword swinging attack that goes all around him. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of knockback or damage. But it's very good to use in chaotic situations where you don't really feel like timing your moves or anything like that. Or maybe you just want to get people off of you. So, yeah. It's just this all around attack, basically, with a lot of active frames. This forward in there, though, is really good. I mean, it doesn't have like the kill power of a Falcon Knee, but it does have enough of a knockback that if you were to use it to catch people who are recovering, that you can knock them far away so that they can't recover. You won't be able to kill with them, you know, like with by knocking them out of boundaries, but uh, I'm just mistiming this, I'm sorry. But you can knock them further fur, far away enough so that they can't recover. So something like that. Alright, so it's for there it has so, a little, just a little bit of startup, but in general it's really fast and it has a lot of reach as you can see. So you can use it, you know, for people who are on the ground or as an air to air. Alright, so his back air is this very long horizontal reaching beam attack. Uh, as far as the hitbox is concerned, oh yeah, so far all the moves I showed you besides his side smash and up smash don't really need to be sweet spotted you know as long as you just get them with the beam so this it's no different from his back air so his back air you could use it as sort of ledge control as well like from a very far distance uh, it does have a bit of a startup so <laughs> that's why I haven't that's why I've been messing up on it oh yeah there you go so that's one way you can use it. Another thing you need to know is that for his back air, the hitbox, uh, you do less damage the further away you hit it with. So from that distance, I got 7%, and from close up, I got 11. So yeah, the closer you are with them, the closer you are to them, the more damage it does. All right, so that's about it for his forward and back air. So next up.